On a typical Thursday at Riverside Golf Course in Janesville, Pete Crozier is anything but typical. He's a man on a mission. 50 golf courses, 50 states in 50 days. The inspiration? Pete turned 50 this year. Decided to combine my three memories of my dad as a planner and a traveler and a golfer. His ultimate golf trip. I love being out here, it's a beautiful course. Called 50 for Father. It's about raising awareness for type one diabetes in honor of his dad. My dad died of a stroke with complications from type two diabetes. But another big reason Pete says he is swinging for a cure is because of his son. 10 years later, my son Gavin uh, was diagnosed with type one at age four. Now on day 32 and 32 courses deep, Good ball. Pete is feeling some fatigue. It's a total grind. I'm exhausted. Um, I think I maybe feel a little bit what my son feels. Taking it all in, knowing his son dealing with diabetes is fighting a similar battle. So hopefully at the end of this, I'll be a better dad because maybe I feel a little bit of what my son goes through every day. Pete says this experience is a hole in one. <laughs> he gives me a thumbs up. Pete has managed to find a pretty big following on social media. Welcome to day 32 of 50 for Father, where I'm playing 50 courses in 50 states in 50 days. He starts every morning at the course with a daily vlog to keep everyone up to date. And one of my favorite comments came from uh, somebody in New Mexico. He said, oh, I picked up your story in New Mexico and now I'm closer to my dad. Yeah. After following your story, we're spending more time together. Raising awareness and making an impact through thousands of dollars of donations, averaging at least $1,000 a day. I'm a big believer that the world changes one person at a time, one action at a time. It kind of feels like that. Everybody give it a little bit to make something happen. But the mission doesn't stop at day 50. Pete says he plans to keep this passion alive in memory of his father and for his son, who continues to fight. I get to do something I love with people I love, for people I love, and make the world a better place. How, how lucky am I? In Janesville, Megan Hedstrom, Spectrum News.